Welcome back, adventurers here in Mom's Basement, where I'm your host again, Dirty Hoddy himself. And today, I want to talk about the recently released roadmap regarding Bless Unleash PC from 2021 October to 2022, the first half of 2022 that is. So I want to talk about the uh, content of the roadmap, my thoughts about it, what I like, what I dislike. So, without further ado, let's get this roadmap video started, shall we? Okay, adventurers, happy to have you here again at Mom's Basement talking today about the Bless Unleashed roadmap. But before we start with that, I want to give you a little bit of background with my Bless Unleashed experience so you know where I'm coming from. So first of all, I did never play Bless Online. And second of all, I never played Bless Unleashed on console. So I started Bless with Bless Unleashed PC. So I heard a lot of opinions about the roadmap from people that already played Bless Online and playing Bless Unleashed on console for over a year now. So they might have a different perspective than I have because I just started the game recently. So my views might be different. I hope they are still valuable for you. And now let's start with the roadmap and let's start at the beginning at October 2021, which is uh, basically the next patch. So October 2021, we have the start of the first PvP season. That's something something I'm actually interested in because I like PvP, but uh, I'm lacking the PvP team right now to really participate in that. Then we have the five player layer featuring Elfir Krak or whatever that dragon is called. You see some gameplay in the background of that uh, dungeon fighting that boss. I mean, it's a new boss, new content, and that's always good to have. Then they will also add a level 40 time dungeon. I don't know which dungeon that is, but I'm looking forward to that content for people with level 40 plus. And uh, regarding gear score, so it will also have a higher gear score requirement for that level 40 dungeon. I heard something on Discord like 1500 plus, 1540, something like that. Okay, so a higher gear score requirement to participate in that. Then they also add a PvP flag system. I'm not 100% sure what that is, but uh, the lead developer guy talked also a little bit about uh, open world PvP. Maybe that's what he was talking about that we have uh, for the uh, PvP sectors, that there are also like separate channels for open PvP and also a peace channel where you can't be attacked. That might be interesting for that people that never tried Blaze Unleashed because of kind of forced open world PvP, which really wasn't that bad. So they will add a peace channel in the future. I don't know if that's what will be coming with October 2021 or later, but they are definitely planning to add, to add that. Then we, they will also add some new uh, monsters or let's say another version of a field boss, the Twisted Soul Razor Revenant. So the Bless Unleashed adventurers already know that for some field bosses there are the twisted versions, basically harder versions with different mechanics. Then from October 2021 we are heading right into November 2021 with the new system. So they like to add a dungeon difficulty modifier feature, what a word, a rune adjustment and the potential system. And let me talk about that a little more in detail because the lead development also explained some background regarding those. So the biggest fear right now at uh, Round 8 Studio is the player polarization. So we have uh, a lot of players with high-end, let's say, maxed gear who are missing a challenge. And on the other hand, we have mid-tier players, casual players like, let's say, myself and below and above who have a trouble finding... Uh, finding a party through matchmaking because a lot of players are already out leveled that stuff. And here comes the dungeon difficulty modifier feature in place. So you can modify the difficulty for the dungeon on one hand. So make it harder for better loot basically. So the rewards will scale with the difficulty you've set. So that's the, the next thing that will come as far as I understood it in the video. You will also find the video of the lead development uh, in the description of this video if you want to see the original one. To the dungeon modifier feature there was also a second part and I don't know if that's already coming with November or later. So because uh, low to mid tier players don't find players via the matchmaking system right now, they will also add the feature that you can reduce the difficult difficulty and the amount of players you need. So basically maybe you can go all the way down to a solo a dungeon for lesser rewards, make it easier 
which might be interesting for those people that are coming later to place unleashed and have those you know some dungeons that require you to run them for the story so there will be also this side of the dungeon difficulty modifier feature man what a word what a sentence then we have the rune adjustment and that's something i guess a lot of people are waiting for it basically cutting a long story short it means that you can re-roll the runes on the gear you already have uh, for now we don't know how often uh, the cost and how it's gonna work overall so we have to see i mean it, i'm positive on that feature i'm looking forward to that given that it will be a reasonable price and you have a few chances because let's say if you can only re-roll re once for an amazing cost and then you might end up with even worse runes than you already had uh, that might also happen and then i'm not so positive about that future uh, about that feature okay so that's that uh, then they are also adding the potential system in November. Uh, you can see that a little bit in, in the background. I played it here. Uh, it's basically an enhancement system, which is account wide. That's uh, what the lead development said. There are different panels and cores you obtain by playing, which, for example, enhance your stats or abilities or your, basically the HP, attack power and defense to make your character stronger. But that one is account wide. So I'm not 100% or I'm like in no way sure how that should work or how it will work, but it's something, it could be something very interesting to customize your character even more, or it could be something very horrible as it adds another layer of RNG to the very RNG heavy customization already so we have to see about that one so the potential system also coming in november 2021 when they stick to this roadmap then we are at december 2021 regarding new content guild versus guild uh this might be also interesting for me because i'm interested in pvp we have to see how that all works if it's connected to the uh, channel and the uh, peace uh, channel if it works uh, in the open world or if there are specific areas for that we have to see about that but let's say i'm interested in it and i'm interested how that works out and how it works with a guild versus guild system performance wise and uh, then we have something the combat training area so they didn't say much about that but i believe it's something like a testing area where you can test your pve builds so basically what i do with the with the training dummies in lack of a better uh, solution or other content creators uh, doing solo field bosses to show the damage of different builds so that might be something very interesting if you want to test your actual build damage we also have to see if that also works with groups so you can test uh, the synergies between different classes and their buffs and debuffs in a party that is very interesting for me uh, then skills and blessings okay new skills and blessings uh, i talk about that in a second and then combat livelihood blessing simultaneous activation so uh, you all know we have our uh, combat blessings and we also have the crafting blessings for example when you make alchemy pots so that's pretty interesting to have them at the same time so regarding new skills and blessings i don't know uh, what blessings will be coming but uh, there was talk about the so-called hero blessing okay that's a new blessing where you have to do some kind of quest line or objectives to obtain that uh, special blessing let's say i i imagine kind of what we have with the ancient weapon now but for a blessing i'm not that positive on that because of what the lead developer actually said because he was saying because it's harder to obtain it will have a higher performance compared to the other blessings we have right now uh, so my fear with this is will it make the blessings we already have obsolete okay so that's my fear we have i can't i can't say how it will work right now but my fear is that it might make the old blessings be uh, maxed out for a lot of star seeds in the past just obsolete in the future but we have uh, to look on that though i'm critical on this one as you can hear then ui ux uh, for me that's not ui ux another uh, costume visual customization so they will add wing costume slots so your character has wings that's something i'm like zero percent interested in so that's it for december then let's head to january 2022 uh, the story will continue expansion of the regular ex episode quests whatever it is so uh, a story expansion okay and then a new system equipment and skill preset system so not much is known about that in detail right now but i think it might be something that we uh, that was already talked about in the community uh, maybe something that we have our our equipment or skills uh, preset for let's say we want to run a dungeon or we want to go pvp so loadouts that's what i understand that might be then we head to february 2022 
that's when the first new class will be added the assessing class i know a lot of guys folks are interested in discord and, and youtube having a new class added and the assassin will be added february 2022 so i will also uh, play some of that in the background here while we talk a little bit about the assassin class what was set so far so the assassin class uh, will be a melee based class he will have uh, stealth abilities so he can stealth all the time but he has the ability to skip certain uh, mobs bosses maybe with the stealth features but not not be able to stealth all the time uh, the assassin has a very quick attack pattern which should make it more difficult to play it good or probably let's say high skill ceiling that's what i read into that but we all we, we have to see how that works out with the server performance uh, it was also mentioned that more classes are planned as well and talk about but nothing specific yet so that's about the assassin class so other points in february 2022 is story costume that reads like new msq so new main story quest that's what i understand with that then new monsters basically the bone dragon the twisted edition so you all know the bone dragon and there's also coming the twisted edition like for the soul razor revenant and we also have it for the spider queen so that's it for february 2022 then we have a little overview for the first half of 2022 what comes in addition to that there will be a new profession system not sure about that then there will be a guild versus guild expansion there will be a guild estate so that one is interesting ladies and gentlemen i like stuff like that where i can meet up with the guild if i would even have a guild so if you're looking for a casual crusader on the eu server hit me up because i'm still looking for a guild at the moment of recording this a new battlefield will be added for pvp an instanced field bosses only yeah that was something uh not sure how that works so you can basically go there with your guild or group and have the have a boss for for that group something like that and then story idol and forest new main story quest so that's overall uh, the roadmap so far there have been a few points i want to add here when there i want to add here now that we see the whole uh, roadmap on screen that aren't mentioned on the roadmap or at least i don't i don't see them anywhere there because it was also talked a lot about that they will add a 10 player raid so 10 player challenges and dungeons will be also a thing in the future as it's not mentioned here in the roadmap and it was clearly stated that they for now focus on the uh, five player layer like the elf crack uh, layer and the level 40 dungeon so they focus on five party content right now so i'm not sure when they will add the 10 player stuff but that also sounds interesting i hope it won't take too long till they add that because it sounds pretty interesting and i think that's what people are waiting for yeah so i guess uh, that was all i have to say about the roadmap for now we basically have to wait how they will continue to develop less unleashed and uh, for now i'm still i'm still happy with the game the problem i see the problem i see right now personally because i'm playing on uh, the eu server it's actually hard to find an english speaking guild which plays when i play so time zone because i have weird play times like early in the morning uk time so that might be a me problem a server transfer uh, that's out to the developers a server transfer might help me that i might that we might be able to transfer to the na server in the future and vice versa that might be interesting for me so that have been my thoughts on the bless unleashed roadmap i'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts in the comments are you happy with the roadmap are you at least uh, interested in the roadmap what what's possible for you what are some negative points in there or what are some points you want to have more information about let me know in the comments and if you like the videos coming to you from mom's basement please leave a like hit that bell button if you want to get notified about future stuff and subscribe to mom's basement for more lesson leash content in the future that's it so far from me dirty hottie out